Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Windows Phone 7 is a very much locked down operating system. You can't change the keyboard, you can't add a task manager. There's a lot you can't do. And one of the things we thought you couldn't do is add a third party browser. Well, it turns out that you can because one has just entered the marketplace. It's called Br Browser Plus, and in this video, we're gonna tell you about it. Let's get to it. <laughs> So before talking about Browser Plus, just want to review really quick Internet Explorer on Windows Phone 7 and how it looks. So it's a very basic browser, but it performs very well. The pinch to zoom is super duper fast. Tab management is easy with a button down here. Although as you're going to see, Browser Plus improves upon tab management and some other things. Uh, down here, we also have the ability to favorite, uh, to, to look at the bookmarks, and so on and so forth. So very simple browser. Let's look at Browser Plus. It's a 99 cent application, which brings a lot of new features that I think a lot of people are going to appreciate. Right off the bat, you can see that it has tabs that are visual. Instead of in the previous Internet Explorer or the Internet Explorer that comes on the device, you have to go into a submenu to access your tabs. But here, you can actually flip between them um, through this visual interface. And by the way, it remembers what tabs you had open, just like Internet Explorer. So I've had these tabs opened a few minutes ago. I jump back in, here they are again. So here we are on a web page. We'll go to Engadget. It feels the same as the Internet Explorer browser, so it's probably built on the same sort of technology there. It just adds some interface changes that makes browsing a little bit more easy. So again, we have the tabs. Let's add another and see what it's like to add lots of different tabs. So we can, looks like it exited. It is a little bit buggy here. And so it looks like it actually, yeah, there it goes. It's going to resume. So I'm going to press the plus button, open up a new tab. And we're going to go into Gizmodo here. Okay, here it's coming. By the way, this does not support landscape functionality at that time, which is a huge bummer. Landscape is very good to use when you're looking at web pages. So here we are on Gizmodo. Uh, let's open up another tab. Let's see how many tabs we can get here. So we'll go to CNET. Looks like we're running out of space here. The X button is missing. Add one more. And actually, you can swipe to the side. So it looks like you can keep adding tabs, which is great. If you want to close a tab, you tap on it. Hit the X button over here. You have to have uh, small fingers in order to do this. We can also use a search right from the upper right corner, which is something that the browser in uh, Internet Explorer does not let you do. So we can search for, you know, um, you know, HTC search. And it pulls up Google search results, which is quite nice. And then we can flip between the tabs like so. Now there's a few things we can do down here um, if we open up the settings. There's a reader view and in order to show you that I've got to get into a page where the ads and the pictures can be stripped out so that you can get sort of the reader view similar to what you get in Safari. So here we go, it's loaded. Let's go to reader view, see if it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Looks like in this case it's not going to work but it does actually work quite well on Pocket Now. So let's jump into that real quick. Okay, so here we are. We're going to jump into Reader View, and this should work. There we go, Reader View. So it just pulls out all of the ads and all the graphical stuff to just give you some text and some images. Now we can go to what looks to be a print view, see if it'll do anything. It won't. Or we can revert back to the previous view. So some of these buttons actually don't work. It's a early browser that it doesn't work as well as the standard browser built into uh, Windows Phone 7. Down here, we have some other options. We can search on the page. We can open up a page in IE if something's not working. We can mail a link. We can go into private mode so it will not keep a history of what you're doing if you're looking at uh, certain things that you don't want other people to see. But overall, it's a pretty cool browser really enhancing on the functionality already built into Windows Phone 7 uh, Internet Explorer. Again, it's 99 cents in the marketplace, and it's a great browser if you want to have a better tabbed browsing experience. For more news and reviews for Windows Phone 7 and other smartphone platforms, check out pocketnow.com. Thanks for watching, and that's it for now.